Hello fellow cadets, see Cadet Malloy here. Today I will be going over personal grooming for males and females as well as, well as a tutorial for females on how to do their hair. Okay, first let's start off with this for males. For males, it's very easy to keep your personal grooming together. Um, you must be clean shaven unless if you have a medical chit, if there's any noticeable hairs or anything. And also for your head hair, you have to be um, pretty much buzz cut, <laughs> um, square neck at the back, and you can't have any hair on your ear, ear over your ears, excuse me, and it cannot be more than one inch in bulk. It should not be over your forehead, and if it is, it must be able to hide under your cap. Okay, so for males and females, um, you're not allowed to wear makeup. Females, if you must, keep it to foundation only, so that means no eyeliner, no eyeshadow, no mascara. Keep it clean, and like I personally just wear foundation. Like, you don't need anything, it's just cadets. Um, males, no visible piercings. Females, you have may have one earring in each ear, and it must be either a silver ball stud, gold ball stud, a pearl stud, or diamond stud. And diamond studs were recently added to the Kato's. Okay, so females, for your hair, you're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need a hairbrush, a comb, hair gel. I prefer Alberto. You can get Walmart, two or three bucks. Lots of it. It'll last you. Uh, hairspray. I use Got To Be Glued. It lasts forever. You can also use it at lieu of starch on your trousers. And some elastics. I just get these cheap ones from the dollar store. Just rubber bands that you can just pull out and not really care about. And you will also need hair net. Um, and tip on hair nets, don't get the cheap ones from the dollar store. I get mine from uh, Green Hawk, which is a equestrian store, and they have lasted me for two or three years now. And they come in packs of two, they're five bucks, and they're totally worth the investment. I tend to use two on my hair since it's really thick and an odd color. I tend to use a lighter colored and a darker colored and it kind of the combination makes it look more like my natural hair color so first off what you want to do is just want to brush the hair out get all the tangos out make sure that if you have a certain part like mine that it's well defined and then we'll move on to the next step the next step is to if you wish to wet your hair down. I don't usually, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will. In this bottle, it's just water. There's no product anymore. It used to be, but now there isn't. So you're just gonna take that and wet your hair down. This will help make it slicker if you wish. I find it's just easier to put the gel in. It's your own personal preference. So now you're going to take the gel, take it out. I use a bit more than I technically should because I have really thick hair. Um, just say if you have thicker thin hair, rub it between your hands and just rub that through your hair. Don't worry if you get some on your forehead or anywhere else. If you need more, take more and right, take it off. And you're just going to take that and just Put it all through your hair and get right in there, right in there. And you're just gonna run that through. Next, you're going to take your comb and with the finer tooth, you're going to brush out your hair again. Start brushing out your hair so it's nice and slick and start bringing it back into a ponytail. Now, a tip for cadets who are sea cadets, I don't know about army or air cadets, unfortunately. But we have to wear gun shirts for CDs. And when you're wearing your gun shirt, sometimes it's hard to get your gun shirt over your bun. So basically what I do is I 
put my hair, I do my hair like this and then I get to the ponytail stage, which I'll show you next. And then I leave it and then, then you put your gun shirt on and then you just finish putting your hair up. That way you don't have to worry about getting gel over your gun shirt. And you also don't have to worry about getting your gun shirt back all wrinkled up trying to get over your bun. We already have enough problems trying to get over everything else. And also to preserve your hairstyle, instead of putting on your black STU shirt after doing your bun, put it on before and then put your blue shirt on after you do your bun. Just makes life a lot simpler. So before that hair gel dries, you just want to brush it all to the back like you're making a very slick ponytail. When I gather it at the back, I'll turn around momentarily to show you. So I'm going to just gather it all at the back into a ponytail. And then once it's in a ponytail, you want to brush it out some more. And then just grab an elastic and secure it at the back. It should be about the middle of the back of your head. It probably looks pretty greasy on camera, but it really isn't in real life. Don't be afraid to use product, enough product to keep your hair in place. You do not need bobby pins for this. As you notice in the beginning, I have really short bangs and you do not need um, bobby pins if you do this right. Before I turn around <clears throat> to show you how to put your hair up into the actual bun, um, we will be spraying it with the hairspray. You want to apply a little amount of hairspray, don't worry too much if it starts dripping, and you just want to smooth it out with your hands so it starts to cover the whole thing and this will help with covering the flyaways, um, making sure that you don't have them with, and they are really, those are really annoying and they just look messy. Now just a note, um, in cadets you may not dye your hair a unnatural color. At this point if you find your hair has good flyaways or is a bit lumpy, you can just brush it out and brush it back towards the actual ponytail holder with the comb. So now I'm going to turn to the side so you can see how I'm going to put my hair up. So first you're going to take the ponytail you created and you're going to take it and you're going to just wrap it around the base. Some people like to do a soft bun which will can be covered in another video if you'd like. If you would like to see that, please post it in the comments. So you just take one of the elastics, stretch over your hands, and just secure it in place. You can take, for me that's good. Then you take your hairnet, take one hairnet, and fold it, twist it over your hair, and just wrap it around until there's nothing left. If there's some excess, just wrap it around the base. Make sure all the hair is tucked in. Take another elastic or if you wish a bobby pin. And put, just clip that over top just to, just to secure it. And there you go. That's basically how to put your hair into a bun. Now if you have any little fuzzies at the back of your ears or under your neck, all you're going to have to do is take your hairspray and just go into squirts and just smooth it up with your hand like you did on top. So that's all I have for now. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you'd like me to do a video on something else, or if you'd like me to do a video on how to do a soft bun, um, let me know in the comments below and I will do that. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. 
because I will be more active lately. I'm sorry I have been un inactive. I've been really busy. Um, if you're wondering what I did over my summer, I went to drill and ceremonial instructor at HMCS Ontario. Met a great bunch of people there. I uh, have a lot of friends still from it. And I will see you guys next time.